Hi everyone, it's time to share my reaction of Blade Runner 2049 with all of you. It is June of 2024 and I watched Blade Runner for the first time in July of 2023. It's actually been almost a year. I did not actually wait almost a whole year to watch this sequel. I actually watched it a couple months after I watched the original, but for certain reasons, I just haven't posted it until now, and we'll talk more about that after this video. But first, I wanted to show you guys when I watched Blade Runner 2049 many, many months ago. So here's the original and my original introduction. Enjoy, guys. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Today, we're going to be watching Blade Runner 2049, the sequel to Blade Runner. As you can see, I have somewhat dressed for the occasion. I have my Pris inspired makeup look going on right now. So I watched the original Blade Runner maybe like a month and a half ago or maybe a couple months ago for the very first time. And I, you can see the reaction on my channel if you haven't go check it out. I absolutely fell in love with that movie. It's probably my new favorite movie of all time. It was just that it just I connected with it on a deep level just the everything about it the story the characters yes but the atmosphere the music the setting the visuals just the whole shebang thank you guys very much for watching hope you guys enjoy and make sure you leave a comment and let me know what you think replicants are bioengineered humans designed by tyrell corporation for use off world their enhanced strength made them ideal slave labor. After a series of violent rebellions, their manufacture became prohibited and Tyrell Corp went bankrupt. Wallace acquired the remains of Tyrell Corp and created a new line of replica replicants to obey. Many older model replicants, Nexus 8s, with open-ended lifespans survived. They are hunted down and retired. Open-ended lifespans. Those that hunt them go by the name Blade Runner. They're now up to Nexus 8s. And they have open-ended lifespans. Police vehicle. The music sounds similar to the opening of the previous movie. Boom, boom. Which I love. Someone must be here. They left the stove on. Is he about to get jumped? No. <laughs> Startled, maybe. I hope you don't mind me taking the liberty. I do mind. Uninvited guests. An announced visits. An introvert's nightmare. Are you Sapper Morton? Pacific number NK68514. I'm a farmer. But you haven't always been a farmer, have you? Probably know I'm taking me in. I would much prefer that to the alternative. If you could just look up and to the left, please. <laughs> Big dude. Shit. But I'm guessing our friend here is a Blade Runner. He has been trained in. Ow. So he just scanned his eye. How's it feel? Killing your own guy. Your own kind? I don't retire my own kind because we don't run. Only older models do. Because you've never seen a miracle. I mean, I'm assuming the older models have to run. Or else they will just be... Oh, he's got the eyeball. That's great. To prove that he got his mark... Just photograph everything. 
So our Blade Runner is a replicant. He's a Nexus 8 model who obeys, I guess. One of the tail end Nexus 8s. He looks like he could take your head off. Oh no. He tried. That guy is a Nexus 8. Come on home for your baseline. What model is this guy? Thirty meters to maximum depth. I'll send a dig team. Well, it doesn't look like a coffin. Unless there's something very small in there like an animal? Everything feels so grimy and gray so far. Cells. Cells. When you're not performing your duties, do they Post give you a little box? Post-traumatic baseline Cells. Cells. Test. Interlinked. Interlinked. Within cells interlinked. Within cells interlinked. We're done. Constant K. You can pick up your bonus. So I'm just going to guess that what I'm seeing is that they can scan just the eye and know if they're a replicant or not now. Obviously, technology has advanced. No need to do the test anymore. But they do, I guess, do some sort of psychiatric test for their newer models that are working for them to make sure they're still at whatever level they need to be mentally, emotionally, maybe. So yay, some replicants get to live, you know, without being hunted, but they're not treated very kindly. That's a very powerful shower. I think I ruined my shirt. I'm sure I can fix that for you. Let me take a look at it. I'm trying a new recipe. I just need a bit more practice. Okay, it's ready. I hope you're gonna like it. I told you not to fuss. Does he have an AI girlfriend? Voila. Bon appétit. I missed you, baby sweet. Would you read to me? What happened? You hate that book. I don't want to read either. How many girlfriends does she ha does he have? Happy anniversary. An emanator. I wonder if, as a replicant, he's not allowed to have a, actual like a real girlfriend. <laughs> you can go anywhere you want in the world now. In the world? Where do you want to go first? So before she had to stay underneath that apparatus. So she has a physical body, kind of. I'm so happy when I'm with you. You don't have to say that. Oh no, lag. It's like dial-up. Can't have a call and be on the internet at the same time. We have a new lead. Get down here. That is so weird. I'm trying to figure out if she's solid or or she's just a hologram where she can take on physical properties, kind of, sometimes. Really hard to tell. And she's definitely programmed to be a loving girlfriend. He knows that. The soil samples indicate that she's been buried for 30 years. Cause of death, Coco? She died in childbirth. So where's the kid? Maybe he ate it. That's not possible. A replicant who is pregnant. The world is built on a wall that separates kind. Tell either side there's no wall, you bought a war. So what you saw didn't happen. Keep the replicants different from humans. 
Erase everything. Even the child? All trace. I've never retired something that was born before. Mm. What's the difference? To be born is to have a soul, I guess. You've been getting on fine without one. What's that matter? A soul. A replicant born from a replicant has a soul. Wouldn't the mother replicant also have a soul? Now that's a cool shot. Because you've never seen a miracle. Oh, that's what... Oh. Confirmation DNA? It here. Oh. An old one. That's gonna be tough. You can customize them as much as you'd like. As human as you want them to be. Would it be possible to reschedule this call, please? Everyone remembers where they were at the blackout. When the lights came back, we were wiped clean. They lost every... all bits of data. Pretty fractured. Not much on it. Standard issue made by Tyrell. Unremarkable. Unremarkable. The 30 year old open case finally closed. Thank you, officer. I'm here for Mr. Wallace. I'm love. What a gift, don't you think? From Mr. Wallace to the world? The outer colonies would never have flourished had he not bought Tyrell, revivified the technology. All our memory bearings from the time, they were all damaged in the blackout. Are those like the memories that they would put in like Rachel? You've got a little boy. Shows you his butterfly collection. Lost the kill jar. I take him to the doctor. And there she is. Was there anything unusual about how you found her? To warrant an official investigation? You know how people are about old serial numbers. Please thank Mr. Wallace for your time. You worked with Officer Deckard back in the day. I like to work alone. So did I. Gaff? Any idea how I could contact him? None. Retire. Probably got what he wanted. To be alone. Is he calling Kay a, a sheep being herded to just do his job? So, why? I'm, I'm lost. Why did they pull up Rachel's thing? She wasn't the bones, was she? A new model. Well, let us see her then. He's a replicant? Alice is a replicant? Oh, welcome to the world. That's a traumatic birth. New model. Can you imagine that's how you're born? You're thrust into this world where you're a skin job? It's fascinating. Before we even know what we are, we feel a lizard. Happy birthday. Give her a shower. Oh, she's crying. Now let's have a look at you. I wonder if these newer replicants are supposed to have emotions. They have an undefined, would they say undefined lifespan? So were they able to like fix the glitch that gave them like a will and, and things like that. I mean, clearly she feels emotions, but is that something she tries to keep hidden or is it like something that they we make just angels. have now and it's okay? Yes, there were bad angels once. I make good angels now. That is how I took us to nine new worlds. A child can count to nine on fingers. We should own the stars. But I can only make so many. That barren pasture. Empty. Right here. Ooh. I cannot breed them. Tyrell's final trick. Procreation. But there is a child. Bring it to me. So he did, Tyrell did 
make Rachel to be able to have children. Why did he just stab her after she was born? That is so crazy looking. What is going on in there? That's Daryl, isn't it? Want to buy a lady's cigarette? Oh, you don't even smile. What's that? It's a tree. It's pretty. It's dead. Now, who keeps... It's not, is it? A dead tree. Oh. You don't like real girls. Well, I'm always here. I feel like I'm a couple steps behind of everything that's going on, like... Back to, what was that guy's name? Slapper? Snapper? Back to his house. Oh, something in the piano. That's why the key... I don't know how pianos work. That's why the key was stuck. Got a mitten? Sock. Little baby sock. I like this so far. I do... I do like this so far. It does feel like... Like a proper sequel. It's not the same. It's good. Burn the place down. So that serial number or that number reminded him of something or sparked some kind of image in his mind. You can't take those. Proper channels and paperwork. It's all here. Hold this for me. Oh my gosh. She got him in just the right spot. Bones are gone. It's out. How long did that take? Well, Wallace, he knows things. A sock? Where'd you find it? Sappers. Sappers, not slappers. <laughs> What's that date? Is that a birthday? Is that a death day? I don't know yet. Calm down, lady. Am I the only one that can see the fucking sunrise here? This breaks the world, Kay. The sunrise. Basically the end of the world, because the sun never rises. Do you remember anything? I have memories, but they're not real. They're just implants. I have one about a toy that I had. A wooden horse. We just saw. All I remember is a group of boys trying to take it away from me. I mean, even if they're implants, what does it matter where the memories come from? Are our memories any more real? Or fake than than theirs there's something that we see in our mind that shapes who we are it's very right? dark and i'm very scared but this horse is all i have so i go in anyway later on those kids find me and they beat me to tell them where it is but i don't that's it we're all just looking out for something real check back in after dina base so Rachel's memories were from a living person. I wonder if they still do that now or if they construct memories. DNA records, children born, 6-10-21. Oh, as a date. Mirror data makes a man. Mm. She's spying on him. Listening? The date carved beneath six, mm. ten, and twenty-one. Oh, a dangerous coincidence. She is a Wallace Corporation I you were special. AI, so maybe this is how I would turn that shit off. A child of woman born. Well, if it were true, I'd be hunted for the rest of my life by someone just like me. So if he's the child, doesn't, does Wallace not know already, or how could he get into the identical. system? A boy and a girl. Identical. Two people can't have identical DNA. 
Unless they're one of these isn't real. Twins? It's a copy. Do twins have identical DNA? <laughs> they were both processed at the Moral Coal Orphanage. It says the girl died there, and the boy disappears. Where's the orphanage? Don't oh, tell her. Right. Don't tell her. <laughs> So I might be interpreting this wrong, but he's the surviving twin of the replicant that gave birth, which is maybe Rachel? I feel like once again, this is going to be a movie where like things start making sense after you watch it two, three, four times. They make more sense. The first time is just like, there's a lot going on, a lot of subtleties. You don't catch on to it because you don't know what's coming. That's not good. Okay. Oh. It's freaky. Are these like bandits or like scrappers or something? Oh, he did. Who are all these people? What is going on? Fire again. Fire again. It's Wallace. Go north. Stop. 20 degrees east. Stop. Reminiscent of... Zoom in. Yeah. When Deckard was looking at that, that image. Find the child. Maybe they don't even need Joy to keep tabs on him. They seem to have eyes in the sky. So is this the orphanage? Oh yeah, these are just like the kids in his memory. And if you're not working, I don't need you. I don't need any of you. Hi, nothing strange or illegal going on here. It's work that molds them into a child worth having. Lots of coughing. Not great living conditions. I need to see your records. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Can't help you. I think you can. Ooh. Paper records would have survived the blackout. Ooh, pages ripped out. It's gone. It wasn't me. A dead end. A horse. I don't know if that's significant. Seemed like it was, though. This is the place from his memory. Exactly the place. Are your memories your own memories? Real memories? Do you have the memories of some kid who coincidentally came here? Or You know, I guess he could be that replicant that was born, or he could have the memories of that rep- I mean, I, I don't know if that would make as much sense, but I feel like it's a possibility that he could have the memories of, a, of the person that was here. 61021 Born. Not made. Hidden with care. By who? A real boy needs a real name. Joe. Joe? Joe. <laughs> How do I know if a memory is an implant or not? Who makes the memories? Good question. Dr. Anastaline? A visitor. Is that okay? None of it's real. Yeah. Sorry. Compromised the immune system. Made my cage, filled it with everything they could to keep me happy. Except company, of course. Stuck. Isolation. Do you mind if I work while you talk? He's a photographer? They say you're the best memory maker there is. Oh no. Memory maker. I love birthday parties. 
So she, so she crafts them. Are they all constructed, or do you ever use ones that are real? It's illegal to use real memories, officer. Hey. How can you tell the difference? Can you tell if something really happened? Think about the memory you want me to see. I wonder if she ever crafts negative memories. She's crying. This memory is full of emotion. Something real. Someone lived this, yes. This happened. I know it's real. Yep, because he found the, the horse. Whoa. That was unexpected. Distinct. Distinct. Dreadfully distinct. Dreadfully distinct. Dark. Dark. Within one stem. And dreadfully distinct. And dreadfully distinct. Against the dark. You're not even close to baseline. Mm -mm. Nope. What the fuck is with you? I what? put you on a case. That's not helping, lady. I found the kid. He was set up like a standard replicant put on a service job. Even he didn't know who he was. Somebody did, though. And? And it's done. What does that mean, it's done? What you asked. <sighs> to get rid of it? He's lying? You did good. She doesn't want proof? You have 48 hours to get back on track. And your next baseline test is out of my hands. So thinks, she thinks she's in the clear, but love is still going to be... I guess she doesn't know that it's him still? You were right about everything. Uh, hi? You liked her, I could tell. She invited her? It's okay. The hell? She's real. You wanna watch? And you're a special lady here. This is really awkward. <laughs> oh. Quiet, now I have to sing. This is freaky. What the hell? So, at first I thought Joy was like gonna spy on him for for Wallace, but I don't think that's the case. But then this lady, she, oh, she worked for this Mariette. She worked for somebody. They sent her to talk to him. Was it Wallace? I don't remember. Well, their sinking is use a little bit of work but it's pretty good so the real and the illusion together but where's the rest of the scene joy is anything you want her to be yeah i guess she is so I thought his model was like unique. Like I thought they made them all unique, but just like multiple joys. They all have the same face. Huh. Interesting. What did she do? Ah, uh, see? Like a tracking device, maybe. I'm done with you. From a tree. You can go now. Yeah, I don't think Joy and Mariette are working together here. Quiet now. I've been inside you. Not so much there as you think. Rude. I'm Team Joy. They'll be coming after me soon. I'm coming with you. But not like this. If they come here looking for you, they'll have access to all my memories. Mm-hmm. You have to delete me from the console. My present. Put me there. If anything happens to this, that's it. Yeah, but... You're gone. Like a real girl. 
So just like replicants can have emotion, like emotions or emotional responses and things. I assume the AI for the joy, same thing. Yep. Okay, time to go. This is what I said. Real wood. Real wood. Go yeah. I go so early. What's the do? Hal mer clear. I was stuck there. Sound like a lady in the A place with radioactivity. But he didn't say where specifically. But Mariette put something in his bag. Where are we going? Heat analysis. Life. What is it? Guess we're about to find out. So there was a bomb that landed there? Where is he? You're too late. It's gone. He destroyed it. Oh. Well, that was rude. Jeez, ugh. You can't hold the tide with a broom. You're so sure. Because we never lie. Uh, I'm gonna tell Mr. Wallace you try to shoot me first. So I had to kill you. Hmm. Guess they can lie. Yes. Oh, I don't think replicants are supposed to do that. They're new models. But Wallace, he's an interesting one, isn't he? Just like Tyrell kept Rachel. Special replicant, so too. But Wallace, I bet. That's freaky. Reminds me of the Sphinxes from the Neverending Story. That scene freaks me out to this day. A bug? A real bug? Bees? That's strange. Oh, don't do that. I don't, uh, guys, I don't like bees. Oh, God. Jeez. <laughs> Is this? You know, I was thinking. What if we were going to the original Tyrell building? Is this it? Oh. Trip mine? Are we gonna find Deckard here? Is that a dog? I didn't happen to have a piece of cheese about you now. Where'd you born? Treasure Island. He reads. That's good. Is that what Harrison Ford sounds like now? You're a cop. Not and anymore. I take you in. Oh yeah. He's suspended. I just have some questions. What questions? Ooh. Ouch. Stay. I like the dog. Elvis? <sighs> I don't want to hurt you, but you're not making it easy. Yeah. <laughs> He doesn't want to be found. <laughs> He's taking great care to not be found. Jeez. I like this song. We could keep it this or we could get a drink. I'll take the drink. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk. Got her name? No. Officer KD6-3. That's not a name. That's a serial number. Joe. What do you want, Joe? 
And what was her name, the mother of your child? Her name was Rachel. What happened to the kid? You didn't even meet your own kid? Why? Because that was the plan. I didn't want our child found, taken apart, dissected. Sometimes to love someone, you gotta be a stranger. Oh, that's tough. Does Deckard know? Does he suspect? The strangers. It's kind of sad to know that Deckard and Rachel didn't get to stay together. To the end. Uh, so Deckard made the little horse. Make it one for my baby. Oh, look, there she is. So beautiful. Here comes somebody. What'd you do? Who'd you bring? Huh? No one. Came and messed up Deckard's whole here. freaking life, man. I came alone. Doesn't seem that way. The doggy's okay. Well, here comes Wallace, I guess. Ooh. What are they doing with Deckard? Leave him alone. Just let him live his life. Oh, he's hurt bad. No. There's love. Bad dog. Ow. Stop. Oh no. She's gonna stomp her. Shouldn't have said anything. No. I love you. Ooh, now you done piss me off, girl. And where are they taking Deckard? Oh, poor doggy. <sighs> this is stressful. I'm stressed out. Oh, who's this? Oh, they left him here? I'm so confused. I thought Wallace wanted... wanted Kay. He wanted Deckard? Man. He lost his girl. You can trust us. Oh, it was this lady who... Yeah, we don't know who she is. This is Fraser. She fought with Sapper on Kalantha. Did you help him hide the child? I was there. I saw a miracle delivered. If a baby can come from one of us, we are our own masters. More human than humans. More human than humans. And we're building an army. An army of replicants? I want to free our people. Holy shit. Join us. Dying for the right cause is the most human thing we can do. You cannot allow Dickard to lead Wallace to me. You must kill Dickard. No! Not daddy. Dickard only wanted his baby to be safe. And she is. She? It was a boy that you had. That is just a piece of the puzzle. What? What are you? What? So he has a sister or, or she didn't deny that there was a boy that she hid. She just said that was a piece of the puzzle. You imagined it was you. What do you mean it's not? We all wish it was us. But the memory. That's why we believe. The memory. Don't listen to her. You know it's true. That's what Someone your heart is yes. telling you. Anna? There's a bit of every artist in their work. Oh, this Anna. There's a bit of every artist in their work. Oh! Oh my god! That's why she was crying. It was her memory. It was her memory. Oh. 
I have wanted to meet you for so very long. He reminds me of, um, I don't remember his name, from Detroit Become Human, the creator of the uh, androids. He reminds me so much of him, the way he talks, his affinity for pools of water. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. Now they have free will. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? I need the specimen to reach it, Mr. Deckard. Oh, is that Rachel? I need the child. He wants... To teach them all to fly. He wants them all to be able to do what Rachel could do. That's what he was trying to... That's what he's trying to do. And God... Remembered Rachel. Do you like our owl? <laughs> You're gonna play that? It's artificial. Of course it is. That's cruel. I'm Rachel. Deckard. That's cruel. Did it never occur to you that's why you were summoned in the first place? Designed to do nothing short of fall for her. Designed? That is, if you were designed. <laughs> I know what's real. Your love was real? Where did they go? I know you know something. So maybe Anna isn't even sick or compromised. Immunocompromised, maybe they just said that to keep her hidden. You think I have nothing to offer but pain? Pain reminds you the joy you felt was real. More joy then. <sighs> I was afraid that that's what was gonna come. An angel. Made again. But it's not her. For you. No. Did you miss me? Is that CGI? Cause... Don't you love me? Pretty convincing. Her eyes were green. Jeez! Was that necessary? You do not know what pain is yet. You will learn. That was a cool transition. <sighs> Couldn't they have just let off Deckard alone? They just have naked holograms in this place? You look lonely. I can fix that. You look like a good Joe. Joe? How does she know Joe? I was wondering if the Joys had like a hive mind. Dying but... for the right cause <laughs> is the most human thing we can do. Because you've never seen a miracle. Where are we going? Home. How did he find them? Why would these revolutionists? want Deckard dead so he can't oh so he can't talk Ooh, he's shot she is she's got combat model in her for sure He's going to float away. I'm the best one. Why are they making Harrison Ford? Do he too old for this? Come on, man. And the guy underwater like that. Didn't she get shot? Off world is waiting. 
This is crazy. I think one of my biggest like fears of like how I die is like drowning or suffocating or something like that. It's makes me very uncomfortable. No, I hate that. Don't like that. Okay, I get it. I get it. Should have let me die out there. You did. You drowned out there. You're free to meet your daughter now. <sighs> so the horse is hers. All the best memories are hers. Man, this is so wild. Why? What am I to you? Go meet your daughter. You okay? I feel like there's still, I don't know, there's still more questions to be answered. You're not gonna survive his wounds? He did get shot in the stomach. I don't know how I feel about them using this song here. Beautiful, isn't it? Okay, so I was really eager to watch this sequel really shortly after I finished watching the first Blade Runner for the first time because that movie made such a huge impact on me. It was just, it felt like the movie was created just for me. It moved me and I couldn't stop thinking about it. I was listening to the soundtrack over and over again. I was watching other people's reactions. I was just completely immersing myself in this movie and a lot of people were asking me for my reaction to 2049 and I fully intended to go into Blade Runner watching Blade Runner and then watching Blade Runner 2049 shortly after but a couple people a very small minority of people were saying like you should wait wait to watch the sequel don't watch it too soon and so I did I waited a couple months and I thought that would be fine but I think it was too soon. So I watched this movie and I was really enjoying it, but by the end of it, I felt a little bit upset. And I didn't really like the atmosphere quite as much as the first one. I didn't like the music quite as much as the first one. And then when they used the Tears in the Rain song that they used for Roy Batty's death scene here in this movie, for a completely different character, which has a lot of things in common with Roy Batty looking back on it now. But then I felt really, I guess, offended by like they're using the, that song and that scene and that speech and those characters like that was like a moment of time that I didn't want to be touched by anyone ever. And so my review on the movie was very harsh. It wasn't completely negative, but when I was editing that footage down, I was like, this isn't, this isn't quite right. So I waited a day or two and then I tried recording it again 
And I still felt like it was just dog shit. Like, I was just like, this is not, this doesn't sound like me. And I felt like I was not looking at the movie the right way. And I was like, well, what do I do? Like, I felt like the reaction was gonna suck. I felt like the review was gonna suck. And I also felt like there were these such high standards for me personally because of how many people really enjoyed my first reaction to the original movie. So I kind of just put this off to the side and just stopped thinking about it completely. I didn't know what to do with it. And I just felt like maybe I'll just never be able to use this footage and maybe I just won't ever put this review out or this reaction out. But it's been a long time. I was like thinking that I wanted to revisit this. So I took the video and I edited it down and I, as a result, rewatched the footage and now I'm ready to give you guys my thoughts. And I'm sorry it took so long, but Blade Runner, like I said, was just such a very deeply important movie to me. So I was kind of simultaneously not wanting them to like make another Blade Runner, but then also mad that this movie wasn't exactly like the previous Blade Runner. Very conflicting emotions. It just wasn't the right time. And I was kind of like Schrodinger's replicant. I don't know. <laughs> so anyways, I finally feel like I am mentally, emotionally capable of talking about this film. I've seen it now after I've kind of been able to get over that honeymoon phase of watching the first Blade Runner. And this is such a good movie. I will say that I still prefer the first one, but I'm not mad that this exists anymore, and I'm not mad that it's different. And I'm also not mad anymore at the similarities. I was just mad. Anyone ever just been mad and you didn't want to be mad and you don't agree with why you're mad, but you're still mad? <laughs> I think this movie did a really good job of creating its own identity and being its own thing while also falling back to the original movie. And I feel like they had a good balance of that. The music isn't quite the same, but it's definitely familiar enough. And the setting and the atmosphere also feels very different, but there are certain scenes and just things that you can't see visually on the screen, but you can feel, even though things look different, they kind of feel the same in a way. I did definitely miss a lot of that contrast that they had in the first movie with the very dark settings, but like the bright neon colored lights. This one was more gray, more muted, more hazy. Things felt very sterile in this movie. Replicants are no longer this new and scary and violent technology that we're fighting tooth and nail to try to squash out. This is a time that's been, this is a time where there has been a lot of destruction. Tyrell company is gone. The blackout happened. Now we have the Wallace company corporation and Wallace himself, very interesting character that I would love to kind of take more time to really do a deep dive into what he's all about, but he has even more of a cold feeling than Tyrell does. And this is like a world that is a little bit more dead, a little bit more sterile, a little bit more emotionless. The replicants that are around are very well trained. They have better ways of keeping them in check. And humanity itself just seems a lot more robotic than the replicants themselves. We also don't meet a lot of characters that are actually human in this movie now that I think about it. Most of the characters, aside from, I assume, Wallace, that one lady, Joshi, who was in charge of Kay, Deckard, though debatable, don't want to get into that. <laughs> and maybe the guy who was running the orphanage? Uh, most everybody we actually met was a replicant now that I think about it. But anyways, what was I saying? It's just a very kind of sterile feeling environment. And it makes sense because 
of what's happened and how much time has passed since the first movie, that it would be that different. I think aside from Wallace, the two really interesting characters to me were Kay and Joy. At first, I didn't trust Joy. I didn't like Joy. But then later, I grew kind of attached to her. I really liked her. I felt like she was her own person and that she had her own will and her own emotions and things like that. But they also kind of made me second guess myself because the other joy towards the end that Kay sees the advertisement she said the name Joe and I kind of thought Joe was a special name that his joy gave to him so that kind of made me hesitate about that because she didn't come up with Joe on her own for him specifically but I don't think that necessarily proves that she wasn't actually trying to help him and then she didn't actually care for him and things like that. She could have given him the generic name, but that doesn't mean that he's not special to her. So I think what intrigues me a lot about her character was that it's hard to say for sure exactly what she was and what she was or wasn't feeling. But in the end, she put her self on the line for him and she ended up losing her life because of that and so I think she's awesome like she really was in love with him and she really was on his side and she wasn't spying on him and things like that and then Kay his downfall was hope but also that hope made his life maybe mean something in the end so even though it caused his downfall I feel like he led a more satisfactory life in a shorter amount of time than he would have if nothing had changed and he lived for a longer amount of time in the state that he was at the beginning where he was passing his test with flying colors he wasn't showing any signs of having emotion or feelings or anything like that and all the replicants have the opportunity or the capability of feeling and kind of awakening in the way that Kay did. But I think it might take something kind of momentous to bring that to the surface. So when Kay thought there was a possibility that he was this special child born of a replicant, all those emotions that he could easily just sweep to the side, he couldn't anymore. And he had that hope. And he had something that he wanted to learn and to fight for. And when he was on the run from his former employers, from the government, for the first time, his life was put in danger and he wanted to keep it. He wanted to preserve it. And then his death, for one, it is very reminiscent of Roy. They both saved Deckard's life. They didn't have to. It didn't help them in any way to save him, but they wanted to because they had awakened that humanity inside of them. Roy knew the want, the desire to survive so that he could see more things, so that he could experience more things, so that he could love. And he knew fear of losing his life. He understood the value of life, and so he saved Deckard. Same thing with Kay. He had something that made his life worth living. Even though he found out it was a lie, he knew what it was like to have that hope, to have something to live for, to know the regret of not being able to fulfill something that you really wanted. Anna ended up being the child that Kay thought he was, but because of that, he could really relate to her. He also had one of her very important, painful memories, one where she had something that was important to her that she wanted to protect, and to give Deckard the opportunity to reunite with her, I would like to think that Kay was very satisfied with that, that he could feel at peace, that somebody was able to live out the dream that he had to be this miracle child, to fight for the replicants, to know the love of a father, 
And so with Kay's passing, we get that very familiar music again. When Roy gave his famous, very moving speech right before his death, he had seen things that you wouldn't believe. All those moments to be lost in time. And I would like to say that Kay had felt things that a lot of other replicants wouldn't believe. Those that have not yet awakened to their humanity. And those feelings, those hopes, desires, the fear of losing it, the fear that it might not be true, the realization of the truth, the regret, the finding a new purpose in saving Deckard, his amazing life experience, and all the emotions in his heart and soul will be lost in time, like tears in rain. And I think the music is very fitting, very well done, and I am so mad that the first time I watched that scene, I was being an angry little brat and saying, why are you using Roy's music for K? It's Roy's and his only. But let's not think about Bunny from like a year ago because she was pretty dumb. Wallace. Wallace is, I think, a human who seems to have a really great goal as far as, as far as expanding humans reach out into the stars as sort of a self-preservation as well as growth. But since his view was so big and his ideas were so grand scale, he lost sight of the tiny little things that matter. And he was, I would say, the most emotionless character in this entire movie because he stopped seeing people as individuals. He didn't see replicants as singular units even. He probably viewed himself as a god, humanity being one blanket out before him, the replicants being another blanket, being used as one giant tool that was never big enough to realize his dream. He was too far away to see or to remember what the most important part about being a human is. And Kay? Kay was like that too. Probably, in a way. Humans are the people he works for. Replicants are the things he destroys. Easy. But then he had a mother, he thought. He had a father. He was special, not just a cog in a wheel. The more I think about this movie, the more ideas I get and the more I love it. And not just this one, but just both of them. I would love for you guys to tell me about your favorite characters. Who intrigued you the most? What is your analysis on these characters? Especially the ones that I haven't touched on because there are so many other characters that I could go into. Like Anna, like Deckard, like Love. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I'm really glad that I decided to just bite the bullet and come back and see if I could have a viewpoint of this movie that I felt more was true to myself, and now I kind of want to watch the original and then this one again over. I just, man, they go so well together. that They have so many similar themes, even though they're different in so many ways. At the heart, they're, they're really kind of the same. I hope you guys stick around, subscribe, Check out some of my other reactions or look forward to some more that are coming out. I will be wanting to watch more movies like these. Unfortunately, there are no more Blade Runner movies, but I know there are a lot similar. And if you guys have some favorites that are in the same vein, then please type them out in the comments. I have a list of movies, but the ones that have the most people shouting their name are the ones that I stand out to me the most in my head. I think a lot of people were suggesting the Robocop Total Recall Starship Troopers um, on my first Blade Runner, so if you want to add a plus one to those, or if I'm getting them mixed up, I think those were them as like three movies that are kind of like a trilogy. And anything else you guys can think of, please let me know. 
And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.